Deborah Kuhn's Garcia is a filmmaker and producer of the documentary Symphony of the Soil. You know, China's an interesting, it's an interesting case because just a few decades ago, you know, they were farming organically and giving back to the soil and small farms and, you know, there was a real push to get people off the farms into the cities and all the problems with, you know, people can own land now in China. I, mean, I went, first went to China in 1988. Everybody was in Mao suits and, you know, it was a whole different ball game. And then I would, was invited to go back a few years ago and show my, show my work. Only about 12% of the Chinese soil is really good soil. And they also are kind of limited in their water. Whereas in America, 42% of our soils are the best soils, mollusols and alphasols. We have plenty of water. So, he was telling me that because China has these limits, you know, they're kind of limited in their natural resources, that they, they've had to work together as a people to figure out how to use these resources. So therefore, it's like more of a collectivist culture because of the land that China is on. The thing about China is that if they decided to change all that, they could do it like that. You know, even though, it, you know, even though they've got like Maserati dealers and all this, you know, this huge wealth and everything, there's still enough control of the government uh, of what goes on there that if they decided we're going to clean up and become eco-China, they could do it. I mean, they, they could even go through another phase of being very, um, you know, you know, kind of walling off foreigners, you know what I mean? They, I mean, they could just shift and say, you know, it's time for us to pay attention to China now. We're going to clean up our act. We've got, we've got enough. We've got enough. You know, if they can sort out a lot of these problems and get the, the industri you know, this industrial animal that's really driving it now, uh, you know, controlled and, and start turning to see about what their quality of life is because it's pretty obvious that they're, I mean, you know, you can't even go outside in some of those cities during the day the air pollution so thick, you know, it wouldn't surprise me to find in, in 10 years that they've shifted everything around and they're, you know, they, I mean, they, they're the solar people now. We're not. They are, you know, they're, they're, they're the ones that are really pioneering this. They come over here and they go to the univer universities and, you know, they learn from us and then they go back there and over there and they make it better.